Hello everyone, this is Ariel of Engineering Trusite. Today is a special edition, a calculator technique. It is widely used for applications related to engineering sciences, mathematics, and electrical engineering problems. Today, this calculator technique is used to solve maxima and minima problem without the use of any differentiation technique. So without further ado, let's move on to problem number one. Problem number one is already solved in our previous tutorial, but today I will use it again to demonstrate how calculator solve the problem without using any differentiation technique. So we have here a multiple choice, we go to the solutions. So we have the volume length times width times height, but here I am emphasizing the creation of the single variable equation used to solve for maxima and minima problem. So over here, we have the box with the length, the width, and the height. So without further ado, let's move on to calculator technique. Okay, so now this is our virtual calculator. So this help us solve example number one without using any differentiation technique. So this is a calculator technique for maxima and minima problem. So right here, we already discussed this problem on the previous videos, but we have to use it again as example for this uh, tutorial. So we already have a one variable equation to be solved using calculator. So right here, we have to set your calculator to table function. To do that, just KN mode function and then select 7. It is for table function of your calculator. So right here, you can input now your single variable equations and solve for the value of C economical. So KN now the equation, just like this one, 1 1.25 times the quantity 6,400 over H or use it as alpha X to designate as a variable plus 0 0.5. Again, you have now H squared or your variable X squared. Okay, right here, you put successfully your single variable equation and then click equals. So the beauty of this multiple choice problem is you can assume directly the range of your possible values of your variable, which is your H. So right here, we have all the choices start from 16 up to 64. 64 is quite a little bit high in range. Maybe your calculator does not allow that because of the insufficient memory. So let's start it from 15 and then N up to, shall we say, 35. The multiple choice has no decimal point. So very much applicable if we use steps one. Now, look at the value. We have X column and F of X column. So if the value of your X is 15, we have the value of F of X 645.83. Now we take a closer look at F of X because the problem states that the C economical of F of X shall be a minimum value, meaning we have to compare all the possible values of F of X. The minimum is the final answer. That's the technique here. So looking at this, we have for x equals 15, we have the value of 645.83. Now, if we can see the least possible values of f of x. If x equals 16, we have 628. So meaning the trend is going uh, down from 645 to 628. Now, we scroll it again. So 628 goes to 615. It is still a minimum value. And again, 606, 19, we have 601. So scroll it again to find the minimum value of f of x. For 20, we have 600. Okay, look, here is the catch point. When x equals 19, the f of x equals 601.55. But when x equals 20, we have the value of f of x, 600. And now when we go to x equals 21, the value goes up. Meaning, if we see it in the curve, the minimum point of this is 600 because it goes up again up to 605 meaning the value of your x at least the value of f of x is a minimum is 20. so that's the beauty in this one we did not use any uh, differentiation technique so that's it for problem number one so again here we already solved the problem so we have the value of h which is 
20. So to solve the remaining dimensions, we have H equals L equals 20 and W equals 16. So the answer is letter A, 16 by 20 by 20. So thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this, tutorials, and calculator technique. Thank you.